You got the fetish, you got the problem, now it's a problem. Scratch that on bitches, I don't know these bitches. They that on bitches, do it for fun. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Libby on the label, and I'm back with another video. I know y'all thinking. Sis, where you get that hair from? So if you'd like to see how I got from that, I don't know if I want to dye this hair black, chop it up, make it nice like a lob to this. Stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump in. You're gonna need a bowl with a brush for coloring. I used a 40 volume developer. Clairol brand. You can use any brand, any volume that you want, really. I use the Colada Colors um, bleach. And I like this bleach because it gives you like highlights and low lights. You need gloves as well. So I'm just going in with two scoops for now of the bleach. And I'm just eyeballing my pour with the developer. I'm going for like a thin batter, I guess you would say, because if the thicker it is, the harder it is to spread, and we're doing a whole wig, so we want it to be kind of fluidy, if you can see here, kind of showing you the consistency of the bleach. So we just grabbed our wig. Y'all can see it's raggedy as shit. <laughs> like the closure is thinning and everything, but that's alright. This is gonna be a wig that you like wear a hat with. <laughs> because I ain't fixing the closure, that's dead. But yeah, I'm just pressing or well, combing out the uh wig, getting it ready to apply the bleach. And I'm literally y'all just going in and slapping this bleach on there, just trying to hurry up and get it done, honestly. Cause this can be a long process the good thing about this you don't really have to worry about messing it up honestly because you're just trying to lift the entire wig because we want to make the entire wig this color in here I I had to do like three to four batches of the bleach so about eight scoops of bleach I'll say I used here I'm just showing you me covering up the wig once I got it completely saturated in the bleach with foil paper this allows for the processing time to go faster here I'm just checking to see if I've got to my desired lightness letting y'all see that still need some more time so I'm covering it back up with the foil now I'm about to go wash it out. I think it's good to go. I think it's lifted enough. So I've washed out the bleach and then coming back. Now it's time to actually dip the hair in the watercolor and dye the color. I'm using the Adore Colors in Cinnamon and Cajun Spice. I'm just going to like literally just squirt it all in the water, both colors. It's no measurement. I didn't use any measurements. I just tried to get the color, the the water to like my desired color kind of. It's kind of hard to see. It looked like, I don't know, tea. Like iced tea or something. So I'm just mixing it up with the brush. Try to get all the like dye. Distributed it. Distributed it. <laughs> distributed through the water. And here I just plop the wig in and just let it sit. Now I did speed through this clip just for the video's sake. However, I only let it sit in there for like a minute and some change. Like this whole little dip dye process took about two minutes. Alright y'all, so this is how the color came out. I think it's popping. We're going to get into it. I'm going to go in with my Baby Bliss Nano. Maybe I can see that. I'm going with my flat irons, and I'm just gonna go through here and just. Now, after hair. I did wash the hair out, I did cut like a bob shape into it. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just want to show y'all that you do not have to throw your old wigs away. You can chef something up, you know. I like to call this if scissor had a bob, okay? If scissor had a long bob. This y'all, I hope it was kind of easy for y'all to follow. A uh, big pro tip, y'all. Stop dyeing your hair a regular way. The watercolor method is that move, y'all. It's so quick, it's so easy. All the messy dye all over your hands and stuff doesn't really happen. Y'all can see my hands now. Y'all see I didn't have gloves on when I was dipping the wig and your girl ain't got no dye on her hands. I was gonna go for blue, but I didn't want to tone the hair. So y'all comment down below, let me know what you guys wanna see next from me. In 2019, what do you wanna see from Libby on the label? I will bring it to you if it's possible. But anything is possible. Y'all, it's a countdown to Liberary as well. I'm not sure how many days we are. It's the 22nd here, so about a week. Not, not, not a full week, week. I'm not sure, but we're almost in Liberary. If you do not know what Liberary is, that will be my birthday month takeover where I will be posting daily just as I did for Vlogmas. In the month of December, I will be posting daily in the month of January. Uh, that's going to be hard, y'all. It's 31 long days in January. My birthday is on the 4th. So, I'm going to try to push through the entire January and vlog for you guys to bring y'all content. And like I say, Lash has a big surprise coming. Come on, Lashes. Y'all don't, don't hear me, though. Come on, Lashes. These are the Libby on the Label signature lashes from Lash by Libby on the label. We have some big things in store this year, so I hope you guys are ready. I can't even see you living for loving and licking cause you promised to put it down. All up on your city looking for you, searching for you for life. Oh, you've been keeping me from dropping your butt out right now. Only be keeping me by your side. Only be keeping me by your side now. Yeah, I love Susan. The zigzag zigala.